When Deborah was a very young child, she was always on the go. She never slept, she was energetic, always fun. She found her love of gymnastics and she was training 20 hours a week at a very young age. When she went to university, they would say, oh, she would do the fashion show, she would be in this, she would be in that. And she lived life to the full. Deborah's ambition was to become a headmistress. She was very much going into schools that were failing and she would go in and try and turn that school around. Deborah was a very glamorous teacher and I can remember her saying, they like fashion, I like fashion. It opens up a conversation then. And then she said, Mum, I've got blood in my poo. And she said, is that normal? And I went, no, that's not normal. You must go and get that investigated further. And then my husband phoned me. She's had a colonoscopy and they found a tumour. And that's when they found out it had spread further, unfortunately. And within a few weeks, we had a stage four diagnosis. And so then I said, oh, that's stage four, what's afterwards? And she went, there isn't. So I was quite naive about cancer. And that's when she started a blog. And wow, it blew me away. Hello, welcome to You, Me and the Big C with myself, Deborah Jane. Somebody noticed and said, well, would you like to write a weekly column for the sum? And that's what she did. She thought bowel babes. She's had bowel cancer, so that's why it's bowel. She wanted to be a babe, she could hide behind it. And I'm very proud of that point that she put to the side her pain and she would be there 24 seven for anybody that needed her. So all we were hoping for, that would there be a new drug that could just push the boundaries a bit. But her body by then had had enough. In January, Deborah hemorrhage very badly. She was rushed to hospital. From then on, basically Deborah lived in the Royal Marsden and slowly deteriorated. And I can remember her saying one day, I can't do this anymore. And that's the first time she'd ever said, I can't do this anymore. I can remember her saying, I'm coming home to die, but I don't want to die. And I went, I know you don't want to die, darling. It was the best eight weeks as a family and the saddest eight weeks of a family that one could ever, ever go through. And then that's when I was told it was probably only three to five days she had. And her breathing changed and the hospice nurse was there um, and I went, she's dying, and she went, yes. And we were just so grateful. We were all there at that last moment. She was a force of nature. She was always lively, enthusiastic, such a zest for life. One in two of us will get cancer in our lifetime. Help us fight back. To give 40, 30, 20 or 10 pounds, text 40, 30, 20 or 10 to 70404 or donate online at channel4.com forward slash SU2C. 100% of the money you give will fund life-saving cancer research.